Hello there, this is Interchange Book 3, Unit 7. This is Teacher Martinez RD. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, we're going to start with uh, this unit, The World We Live In. This is the title of unit number seven. So let's start with number one, snapshot. So we have a, a saying here, waste not, want not. What means that? Okay, I have something here to, to explain you. So, waste not, want not is a saying, a means, and said to advise someone not to waste anything because they might need it in the future. So, in Spanish, will be like, no malgastes y nada te faltará. So, this is the title of the snapshot, okay? Waste not, want not. And here we have some alarming facts. Americans make 750,000 photocopies every minute. Wow, that's a lot. Uh, throw away 2.5 million plastic bottles every hour. Wow, 2.5 million. Another fact, get rid of 30,000 cars every day get rid of 30,000 cars every day. Oh my gosh, I just need one, give me one. Okay, let's continue, I'm just joking. Uh, let's continue, so dispose of 49 million baby diapers every day. Dispose of 49 million, wow, baby diapers every day, that's a lot. Receive four million tons of junk mail every year. Americans use 65 billion aluminum cans every year and throw out 270 million tires every year. Wow, this is according to cleanair.org. Oh my, so uh, here we have some phrasal verb. So throw, up, throw away is a phrasal verb. Get rid of, dispose of, throw out. So these phrasal verbs are similar and I'm going to explain right now. Okay, so here we're going to start with throw away something. That means to get rid of something by treating it as a garbage. For example, when are you going to throw away those old magazines? Okay, throw away something. It's a phrasal verb. It means to get rid of something, right? By the way, we have get rid of something. So, uh... So you can notice that these phrasal verbs are similar. So throw away something and get rid of something is the same. Look at the definition of get rid of something. To remove something that you don't want any longer. I can't wait to get rid of that ugly old couch. So get rid of something and throw away something is similar, the same. Another phrase of verb, dispose of. Dispose of something means to get rid of something, throw out, or destroy. How did they dispose of the body? How did they dispose of the body? So, throw out something is also similar. Look at the definition here. To get rid of something by treating it as a garbage. So, as you can see, throw away, uh, get rid of, and throw out, and dispose of are similar. And these are phrasal verbs, okay? So, what are two other environmental problems that concern you? So, let me know in the comment section below. Okay, now let's listen. Perspective, clean up our city. Perspectives. Clean up our city. Part A. Listen to an announcement from an election campaign. What kinds of problems does Roberta Chang want to fix? Vote for Roberta Chang, City Council. Roberta Chang will clean up Cradville. Have you noticed these problems in our city? The air is being polluted by fumes from cars and trucks. Potholes aren't being repaired due to a lack of funding. The homeless have been displaced from city shelters because of overcrowding. Many parks have been lost through overbuilding. 
Our city streets are being damaged as a result of heavy traffic. Our fresh water supply is being depleted through overuse by people who don't conserve. A vote for Roberta Chang is a vote for solutions. Okay, so which of these problems affect your city? Can you give a specific example? Let me know in the comment section below. Passive with prepositions. Present continuous passive. The air is being polluted by fumes from cars and trucks. City streets are being damaged as a result of heavy traffic. Potholes aren't being repaired due to a lack of funding. Present perfect passive. Many parks have been lost through overbuilding. The homeless have been displaced because of overcrowding in city shelters. Okay, now you have to uh, match the photos of environmental problems with the sentences below. Okay, so here we have these six features and you have six sentences. Okay, okay now it's time for conversation. What can we do? Let's listen and practice. What can we do? Part A. Listen and practice. Look at all those dead fish. What do you think happened? Well, there's a factory outside town that's pumping chemicals into the river. How can they do that? Isn't that against the law? Yes, it is. But a lot of companies ignore those laws. That's terrible. What can we do about it? Well, one way to change things is to talk to the company's management. What if that doesn't work? Well, then another way to stop them is to get a TV station to run a story on it. Yes! Companies hate bad publicity. By the way, what's the name of this company? It's called Avox Industries. Really? My uncle is one of their top executives. Okay, so that was the conversation. So, uh, Carla dice, mira a uh, todos esos peces muertos. So the word fish is for singular and plural. That's why you see those dead fish. Okay? Fish is for singular and plural. Entonces ella dice, ¿qué tú crees que pasa? ¿Qué pasó? What do you think happened? Bueno, hay una fábrica fuera de la ciudad que está desechando químicos en el río. ¿Cómo pueden hacer eso? ¿Cómo pueden ellos hacer eso? Eso no es en contra de la ley. How can they do that? Isn't that against the law? Sí, lo es. Pero muchas compañías ignoran esas leyes. Eso es terrible. ¿Qué podemos hacer al respecto? Bueno, una forma de cambiar estas cosas es hablando con el encargado de la compañía. ¿Qué pasa si no funciona? Bueno, entonces otra forma de detenerlos es ir a una estación de televisión y publicar una historia. So, to run a story, referirse a escribir un artículo, escribir un artículo o hacer una publicación. Sí, sí, las compañías odian la mala publicidad. By the way, a propósito, ¿cuál es el nombre de esta compañía? It's called, es llamada Avos Industry. Industrias Avos. ¿De verdad? Really? Mi tío es uno de los ejecutivos principales. Top executive. Grammar focus. Infinitive clauses and phrases. One way to change things is to talk to the company's management. Another way to stop them is to get a TV station to run a story. The best ways to fight cancer are to do more research and educate people. Okay, now you have to find one or more solutions for each problem, then compare with a the partner. So we have some problems here. So for example, the number one says, one way to reduce famine is, famine is, 
to train people in motor farming methods. So number one is speed. So you have to continue with the rest of this exercise. Okay, guys, that's all for today. I want you to read the, this part, the reading. If you have any question about this reading or any word that you don't understand, let me let me know in the comment section and I will I will help you. So thank you so much for watching this video. See you next time. Bye bye.